Hi everybody, so today I'm going to do a whole video just on optical uh, networking. So what that is, is it's using this fiber optic cable instead of the standard Ethernet cables that you use a lot like in, in home networking. So first I'm going to talk a little bit about Ethernet. This is a really common way that, that devices talk to each other. There's actually four uh, twisted pairs in here, uh, eight wires. And, uh, you know, you, you can plug it into a little jack, you can connect things, and then they can all uh, talk to each other. Uh, the problem with this is it's a wire. It's basically an antenna. It's going to pick up um, noise from the air. Uh, this thing does have some differential amplifiers in it that can eliminate the noise, but it's not going to uh, get all of it. Um, fiber optic uh, Ethernet is designed for, uh, for telecommunications. It's for sending, you know, data signals long distances, usually over, a, you know, a kilometer. And a uh, fiber optic cable does not pick up noise. Um, there's a light that travels over here that's non-metallic. It's basically just glass inside. And uh, so we use it because there's, there's no noise. Uh, it's a little more complicated to use this stuff than it is to use regular Ethernet. Regular Ethernet, there's only one type of connector. You can't buy the wrong cable that's not going to work. There's a couple of different classes. There's shielded and unshielded cable, but but every kind of cable can plug into every kind of switch. That is not true with, with fiber optic. There's multiple connectors. There's multiple different kinds of uh, fiber. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about a few of those different things. Um, so we're going to start with our uh, Sonori optical module here. This can convert um, fiber optic Ethernet to wired Ethernet, and you put this right in front of a device that you want to uh, to optically isolate. Uh, now, right here, this is it. See, it's labeled SFP. Uh, I can eject it with this little thing. This is the actual SFP module. Um, the reason that they make these separate is because they, they use different frequencies of uh, light. There's actually three or four different standards. Um, we're using OM1, uh, which is a, a really common one for, for multi-mode fiber. So the laser and all the things that control it are actually inside here. Uh, and so if you have one of these little SFP slots, you put this sucker in here, and then, um, then you can plug the fiber into that. Uh, you can't plug this into an Ethernet port. It only goes into one of these these special uh, SFP um, slots. You can see, you know, once it's in there, then the, the fiber uh, goes in. There's also um, a larger version of these. They're 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 wider. These are called LC connectors. There's you know different ones that are bigger. So we're using LC connectors. OM1. Uh, this is gigabit uh, Ethernet. There's a whole bunch of different speeds of, of, of fiber optic Ethernet. There's 100, 100 meg, gigabit, 10 gig. There's a 30 gig. I think there's even some ones that go that go beyond that. Uh, so the trick is to to have all of your stuff be the same. Um, these SFP modules, it's really important to have the same one on each end of the fiber. Uh, in many cases, they will work together. This is a really standard one. This, you know, TLSM311LM is a, is a kind of an industry standard module that there's a lot of companies that sell these uh, other than us. Uh, TP-Link has a version of it. A few other people have one. Uh, so I guess you could check the, the number and see if it's the same on the other end, but it's best just to buy two modules, you know, together. Uh, so here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, put the one in here and put this. And now on your other end, um, we sell these little uh, simple media converters. It's called an FMC, fiber media converter, and it just converts uh, wired ethernet to, um, to optical ethernet. Same thing, it's got the little, little SFP slot in here. Let me get this guy out of here. And um, you know, you, you put this in here, close little handle, and then you can uh, connect to that. And then now it's ready to go to pretty much any Ethernet switch. You can plug this into your router. You can plug it into to a switch. So it kind of takes fiber Ethernet and makes it into to more standard Ethernet. Um, if you happen to have an Ethernet switch like this one that has an SFP slot on it, uh, it's, that's nice because you can put um, the thing right in it. It's good if it's SFP. There's also a, an SFP Plus, which is 10 gigabyte. I I think these modules will work uh, in that, the regular one gig modules. But, you know, again, you just got to make sure all this stuff is the, is the same if you want this to work. If you buy it off our Small Green Computer website, um, all of our stuff has been tested to work together. Um, it, although it's certainly possible to, uh, 
to use some some other types of things uh this this cable we're using you can see it's orange this is om1 cable there's also om2 there's om3 usually they're different colors they're like blue or green um stick with the om1 again if you want the you know the whole thing to 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 just work um so yeah so you can see uh you know just just go oh yeah i didn't i didn't show you plugging it in here yeah so this is the um you know using this this module in here then we can plug directly in the switch so this is nice because it just eliminates one more thing from the from the connection right you can eliminate this little thing now you can use this ethernet switch to, to plug in some other devices and you've got this one fiber line that goes to your your optical module um, another thing is there's a lot of different kinds of SFPs. I kind of, I kind of went over this a little while ago. Uh, this is a, a Finistar SFP or Finisar SFP. It's a, uh, this is an industry standard. These are made in the United States and they're, they're very, very high quality. Um, a lot of people think these sound better. I've listened to them. They, there definitely is a small improvement in sound. If you use these, I'm not quite sure why they probably have uh, better power supplies in, inside these things. Uh, same thing. If you're going to use one of these finish stars, use one, uh, use one on each end of the connection. Um, you could probably use one on the, the clean end of the fiber here, um, and use a, a different type on the dirty end, but it just might not work. And you're, you're, you, you want reliability. You don't want dropouts. You want things to just always work. And to do that, you want to use the same module on each end. Uh, so I'm going to put this back to the little, this is going to be the most common way that people see it, you know, just using this little converter. Um, there are uh, power supplies that go with all these things. You see there is a power supply input on here. I didn't uh, talk about that, but um, again, the, the clean side, you want to use something like this optical module, which doesn't add any noise back into the, into the uh, ethernet. Um, you want to use a linear supply on this side. This is the dirty side. Any noise over here is going to be cleaned by the fiber, so that's why we're just using this simple transceiver, and we're just probably using a, a switch mode power supply to power this thing. So that was my my quick introduction to optical uh, Ethernet. Hope you guys uh, you know know more about that than you did when you started.